Now, you uh, might think supporting the Geordies at a football match would mean a trip to St James's Park. In fact, you'd need to travel another 280 miles to a small club in West London. Hanwell Town Football Club has had a special connection with Newcastle for more than a century, as Jill Archbold explains. Two clubs, separated by many miles and many leagues. But what connects Hanwell Town to Newcastle's top flight team? So Hanwell Town Football Club, based in, in West London near Ealing, over 100 years, is nicknamed the Geordies. This small London side was founded just over a century ago by Geordie railway workers in the capital. It's why the team still play in black and white and recently their magpie-inspired merchandise started selling fast with parcels heading to football fans in the North East. We probably only get around sort of 200 fans to a game so once you've exhausted the, the local fans, the, the, the club shop can can dry up as it were but we've suddenly gained 2,000 plus new fans from from the northeast and, and they all want a bit of the merchandise which is obviously great for um, a little non-league club in West London that are struggling with the effects of, of the pandemic. The support has inspired Hanwell player Gareth Chendlick to raise money for the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation, taking on the charity's 10k challenge not once but 10 times this month. The striker's efforts haven't gone unnoticed. We surprised him with a special message. Hey Gareth, I know you play in black and white and you like to score goals, so we've got a bit in common there, I suppose. And I know you're doing the Sir Bobby's football run 10 times this month. I just wanted to say a huge well done and thank you so much for supporting the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation. And of course, best of luck to Hanwell Town next season. Cheers, take care. Love it. Big Al. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, a few people have commented as well that um, I've adopted the, uh, the Alan Shearer celebration as well when I score goals too. So, An online competition helped the London and Northern Geordies unite, rekindling a connection that first started in 1920. Jill Archbold, BBC Look North.